today I'm on a mission to go see Mr. Ed. So here's the plan. I'm almost to the Abbey. The Abbey set up a, a meet and greet for Mr. Ed so people could come by and shake his hand. I'm gonna come by and get him to sign a hat. He told me over the phone he wouldn't sign my hat, but I brought it with me, and I don't think he's gonna be able to say no in front of all those people. Six twenty-eight, Dirt Rooster, where beekeeping is a way of life. Now has a branch office here in Doi Saket, Thailand. We're also beekeeping is a way of life. My bees are pretty active today. That's a good thing. Bees, right here. Six twenty-eight, Dirt Rooster. We're about to do a very large removal. What I think is going to be a very large removal on a hive and a vacant HUD repo. It's been vacant for about four years, as far as I know. They've been in here long enough, they've chewed a hole through the wall in the kitchen and gotten in the house. And so the living room floor, unless somebody swept it up, is just littered with tens of thousands of dead bees and it's still a really strong hive nobody's ever sprayed it treated it in any way and uh, I know that for a fact they consulted with me when they discovered it so might have a lot of honey in it and if it does we're gonna collect it and we're gonna collect the bees close the wall up and let's go in and get to work on this thing is it how's she smell <laughs> like a stale old house Mm. What a stench. So what's going on here is the bees have been in here long enough and they're getting in the house now and looking for light. This is not anything to do with poisoning. This house has never been treated, poisoned, anything like that. It's just bees looking for light and dying in the living room. Uh, there's the front door and the hive is in that back corner in the dark where you can't really see anything. This is a kitchen. Yeah, I got the uh, kitchen window boarded up. We're gonna have to pull that for some light because there's no power here. But they're coming in up top. Uh, I came located them with the flare. They're in this They're in this interior wall. This is a wall between the kitchen and the master bath and the opposite side of that wall is the shower. So I got to pull trim uh, Paneling and then there's sheetrock behind that Crown's got to come down that top cabinet's got to come down Once we get them out we got to put everything back They're also getting in this little, I don't know if this was a den or what, I hate to walk in here, this floor is so soft. And of course, back wall is in terrible shape, allowing bird's nests, nothing in there, wasp nest, nothing in there. All kinds of wildlife. All kinds of good wildlife. Hey man. 
Come look at this construction of this fine back porch roof. <laughs> Somebody. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. It's not supposed to be two by fours for one. Well, then they should be screwed. Somebody shot nails through it all and missed missed the framing. On several of them. And one next to the same thing. But then look at the lean on the outer post. <laughs> and they cut the metal short. <laughs> and look up top here. Shorted on the metal and no flashing. Wow, must be a really nice leaky spot. Yeah, that's gonna be how wet this wood is right here with it coming in and out. So we gotta take this board down. Yeah. That was easy enough. Yeah, it's only packed up. That's it, now we got light to work. That looks further over than that wall. That is. No, that's right at that. No, that wall's right here. Uh-uh. I'm standing here looking at it. Roughly seven feet. This utility room looks like some kind of a torture closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't go through this floor. We can take the boards off on the outside here. Do what? We can take the boards off in front of it on the outside. Yeah, but that, that's just the entrance. The whole hive's inside. Try and stop them from getting any further in. Cause right above where they're at, it's literally two boards going. They're both eight feet. Yeah. So they're accessible the whole nine yards. Yeah, I hear it. But we're working inside. It's mega humid, a little hot, but we're working inside. I live in the south. Out of the rain. I've never seen a place where you put a fridge and there's no outlet. You get to run an extension cord from over there, I guess. Or, or along the porch. <laughs> along yeah. The here. There you go. Run it up behind your toaster. <laughs> Just ready for the best winter rise and ready for beekeeping. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guilty party. Dang, is that three quarters? Five eighths. On the interior wall. That was not as big as I thought. I thought it was going to be an entire wall cavity. That's why we pulled the, pulled the lower first because I thought it was going to be bigger. I still don't know what we've got yet because, of course, the camera sees that, but I don't. Oh, there's some. That's what I was. Oh. Cone that fell. Wow. Looks like they're trying to build it to the wall right there, too. Yeah. We're going to pick that up, though, because that looks like a queen right there. It sure is. Right here. You see her? Where's that, where's that queen clip? You that want, brown right there? Yeah. Right there. You want to get her? Yeah, I'm going to make that effort. You got her? Yep, so you did. And I pissed him off. What's that? <laughs> that was, uh, eat your heart out. Jeff, Mr. Ed, Yappy, JP, everybody else. <laughs> That's how we do it here. Just open the wall and grab her. <laughs> We're not even into the hive yet. <laughs> and they might have broke off the two hives, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta shut this down, look at video to see what we've got. Oh wow, lots of honey and lots of white comb. Lots of freaking bees. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, what, we're gonna get into them right here. I don't know what this queen was doing way down in the bottom like that because that section of comb that fell wasn't a recent uh, fall. But there definitely there's a queen right there. So we're gonna keep our eye out for another one up top. Could they have made a queen cell down there? No, they made one down there. But we're gonna have to check up top and see. 
if we see queen cells up top we'll know they think she's missing and they're trying to replace her start them off more. yeah go ahead and see the thing is, is go ahead and make I'm them mad i'm not dirt rooster tall <laughs> <laughs> Play nice, ladies. Let's build on the back of that plywood. We're about to drop some more comb. Ooh, dripping comb. All right. Let's cover that floor up. It's not a prize floor, but we don't, we don't want to have to clean up anymore. <laughs> the covering up for what? So you know the dirt don't get picked up? Yeah, it will cover it up. Because <laughs> we're going to get honey everywhere pulling this thing out. Uh, right now, just see how far it'll open without pulling half the hive down. Oh, stop, stop. Get a bucket. Got yeah, like training like there's a leak in it. It's a honey leak. I got the bucket. You got the bucket? But I can't see what's going on. I'm just uh, I'm fixing to drop it. Here it goes. Okay. Well, let me get a good grip. I don't know what kind of weight's going to hit me. All right, go for it. Thug. <laughs> That's brewed in honey, huh? No, it's just honey. Just clean honey. Clean, except for it's got bees in it. Protein nuggets. All right, so is this ready to fold out more then? Tastes good. I'll take your word for it. I'll get to it in a minute. <laughs> it's still draining all over the place. Oh, they're making, oh, they're singing. I can hear them. Yeah. The old hive's making noises. You got the bucket? Yep. Got another piece coming down. And it missed the bucket. <laughs> Here comes another one. I'm trying to shake it off. Here it goes. There's some brood comb. There's our clean bucket with honey. There's more brood cone and more coming out of the wall right now. The goo hive goes up beyond that board there up to the top plate, but we're getting into honey up there right now. We're just cutting out brood. Looking to see if there's a second queen. I don't think there is. I think that one queen was going to be it, but we're going to keep an eye out anyway. I don't see nothing but little bees. Yeah, we got. It looks like the end of the brood. And if she's been down in the bottom there, it hasn't been for very long because there is very young larvae. I hadn't looked for eggs yet because it's so dark in here. Cut this off. Yep. And then start collecting this in the clean bucket, huh? Hang on a sec. That's it on the brood comb. All these bees were outside. We smoked the crap out of well, I can't take the credit for that. I didn't smoke the crap out of them. Somebody did. <laughs> they all went outside and we cut a bunch of the honeycomb out. And we just went outside and took about a 15 minute break because it is smoldering hot in this place. There's a sauna in here. And while we were outside, all the ones that were out came inside to clean up all the cuts we made, which is perfect. For me, it makes it a little easier to work when honey's not running down your arms and your hands. <laughs> Had a bucket down here catching it as it was dripping. So what we're gonna do now is start vacuuming bees. Once we get the numbers down a little bit, we'll smoke them again, run them back outside and cut the rest of that honeycomb out. Cause right that board up top is covering up to the top plate and all that comb from what you see up to the top plate is solid honey. And then when we're done with that, we got to open back even further because there's more comb behind that plywood there. And I think that's probably all going to be honey. So it shouldn't be a huge deal, but it's probably going to be messy. So we got the plastic on the floor, buckets catching honey, and, and our queens in the windowsill like a summertime apple pie. Cooling in the windowsill. There she is on the bottom. And that was Pete's first queen to ever catch. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Caught her in the first, first snag. Open the wall, man. She was just sitting there pretty. And, and we're using the Everything B Vac, battery powered vac, because we're in this old house with no power. So this thing has been a godsend. Otherwise, we'd be running on the generator, which is noisy, smelly, and a pain in the butt. <laughs> Perfect. And you gotta carry it. Yeah, I just gotta get the uh you gotta get reach the switch. Yeah, reach the switch and run around the other I, side. I can reach it, you can slide the ladder back over to the wall. Yeah. 
Marty. Yeah. <laughs> if you can see that white, yeah, up there. <laughs> we gotta open the wall over past that last stud. There's more comb over there. Honey on a, on a, a ladder is slick. That's full throttle. We're gonna run about right there. And unless you're familiar with a BVAC, well, you know, if anybody that's ever used a shot vac can tell this is a lot quieter than a shot vac, which is what you have to use on a standard BVAC. Hey, man. Guess what? What? Second queen. You're kidding. All right, where are we going to put her in? There she is. Number two. Now this is not natural for a hive to have two queens like this. What you can see is that comb that fell from the hive and down into the bottom of that wall. The old queen was down there and this is a new queen that they had obviously mated and got laying up in that top. Nice bright orange. Oh yeah, she's pretty one. It's a little different color than that other one. She's bigger than the other ones too. Well, the other one wasn't laying. She was down at the bottom of that wall, so she might have been shrunk down a little bit. Look at this, man. Don't get any better. This is their entrance up here. I've been vacuuming bees. That's where I caught the second queen. She was walking out on the board. This is the one that was in the bottom of the wall. And this is the one that was in the top of the wall laying. Not necessarily a two-queen hive because they're really totally separate. Six and a half feet apart roughly but what we got right here is a bunch of field bees trying to come back plus what we ran out of the wall smoking them i'm not going to close the interior wall back up until the vast majority of these are collected but uh, i'm still running them out of the wall kind of waiting on to find the queens as they as they settle on this windowsill over here i'll give them time to kind of cluster up and start bearding off that window as soon as they do i'll grab my little everything bee vac See the link below if you want one. That's it, we're fixing to wrap it up, vacuum up what we can get, close that inside back up and we're gone. It's about to get nasty on us. <laughs> 